Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I'm going to go over one of my smallest EDC survival kits. This is it right here. Everything you need. And what do I have in here? Let's open it up and see. First of all, I've got a Manhattan Portage Orange zippered pouch. I started out with that um, deliberately because I wanted a nice orange zippered pouch with some quality to it. That was uh, what answered the call. Um, and as you can see, it's a New York USA made. On the edge, I've got a brass or, or non-magnetic ring here. I might use that for a compass. I've got a Night Eyes um, carabiner. This is one of their double-sided ones. I like these. And a little bit of paracord so I can attach it to something. Let's get to the exciting part. So as I unzip this, it opens up. Right away at the top, I've got a full-size Bic lighter. I could go with a smaller one. Um, in this case, I could fit a larger one in it. I used a rubber band to keep it from accidentally firing here um, because I don't want to end up in a survival situation with an empty Bic lighter. And I got the orange one. That's orange to you. Um, next, here's a whistle. This is the SOL, or Survive Outdoors Longer Slim Howler Whistle. This uses... Um, more of a unique geometry rather than a rolling ball inside it. So very small, effective if you want a signal. Um, then what do I have here? I've got a little bit of a fire kit. This uses some hurricane matches, some um, Tinder tabs, which are these like they're they're um, almost like cotton, except they're highly flammable and you burst them, you bust them out, grab them and spread them apart. Um, and I've got this right here, which is the strike plate for these hurricane matches. Um, I have got a four sevens. Uh, this is a uh, Q Mini X. This particular one is a very powerful single um, CR123 battery light plus an extra battery. This particular one um, has several. Um, features. It does allow me to um, kind of choose the brightness level um, as well as program it, believe it or not, if I wanted to how I want to add, I want it to come on. Um, and this particular one um, I've set to come on with a very low light. That's all, mostly what you need. But then I can quickly change it with a flick um, to one of many different settings, whatever I want. Anyway, um, I have a titanium version of this as well that I like, and I've hooked a carabiner to it. Um, one of these little ones, which you'll get to in a moment. Why? Um, further down, what I've got is a um, Swedish steel. This thing is a, um, a ferrocium rod create sparks. I do not have their extra little piece. I took it off. Um, they have a striker that comes with it and that's because I've already got a striker in here in the form of this um, Spyderco bird knife. Now this is a um, bird by Spyderco. It's actually a pretty good knife except it's made overseas. So Spyderco doesn't brand these quite the same as their knives but it's an amazing solid good knife. Um, ultralight and definitely something you can count on, just not made in America. Um, and then this, this is a classic old buck tool knife. Um, it is in a green pouch. Let me slide this out of here. And what this uses is kind of the, uh, one of the earlier Leatherman design, or non Leatherman, uh, multi-tool designs. Um, it tends to fold up on you but it does have a nice thick, this doubles as a tweezer and first aid, um, multi-tool, very small. Um, it has a sharp knife. You can see a couple of tools over here, a couple of tools, three more over here, including uh, scissors, um, what would work as a Phillips screwdriver and tweezers on this end, um, all in a very small form factor. Um, Works great for uh, emergency pliers, and it folds up small and, of course, fits in my, my kit. I can also use a small Leatherman squirt or something in there as well. They didn't have the squirt when this was made. Now, some interesting stuff. Um, what we've got here 
is the Sun 2 uh, compass. This is a very tiny but expensive and well-made compass. It uses a um, rotatable bezel so you can set up a heading on it if you want. Um, if I choose to you know, map a heading, I can set that and then um, push it down. It seems to stay quite well. Um, but what that allows me to do is if I've got an orientation and I do have an asymmetry here, I can point that, say, towards where I want to go and then line this up with north here. And then all of a sudden, I've got a bearing. So rock solid quality compass. There it is. Next thing, this is unusual for a lot of these. This is Kevlar cord. Um, I can't fit a big wad of paracord in here, but what I can fit in is this super strong, it's like 500 pound paracord or 500 pound Kevlar cord. So I could, yeah, use it for fishing or whatever, but I can also build other things with it. Um, very small, very light, <laughs> very expensive, you know, for cord, for string, it seems expensive. But anyway, super strong. And when you're working with Kevlar, Kevlar does not melt like normal cord. So it's a little bit fire resistant. Um, but that's what I have inside this. Last, almost last, um, I've got some moleskin here. I can cut out the right shape for um, avoiding blisters, um, minor first aid, etc. cetera. Um, and then the last thing is one Band-Aid. So um, that's what I've got in there right now. I've got my lighting, I've got my fire kit, I've got my tools, I've got my navigation, um, I've got my cordage, um, and I've got my signaling all in this little teeny weeny kit that easily fits in the palm of my hand and I can throw it in all kinds of different um, backpacks, purses, purses, whatever, so it can go with me. I do have others, I'll get to those, but I thought you might be interested in what's in the, the tiniest one that I have outside of just pocket carry, EDC pocket carry. And with that, Doc out.